Welcome back, my Alpha Squad, to another episode of Cell to Singularity Evolution Never Ends. Seeing as this is my most popular series, I just have to continue it. And there is quite a few things we haven't done as of yet. There's also a few achievements we left out last time. Tasmaniacs. The Tasmanian Devil, a species of carnivorous marsupial, is known for its distinctive blood-curdling screams. These defensive cries terrified early European settlers of Australia, who thought that there were that there were devils roaming the night. If it's anything like Taz from Looney Tunes, then yeah, that could be scary if you didn't know what it was. The Fox and the Hound. Foxes can be domesticated, but this behavior is rarely sustainable for multiple generations. Selective breeding of the Russian silver fox has led it to gain many dog-like traits, like a friendlier demeanor, curly tails, and floppy ears. But no, they're supposed to be hunters and dog. Oh. You don't want to be you don't want a fluffy friend when it's a fox. You want them to be hunters so they can help you hunt. At least that's why I would get a fox. Fixed oh thin skin, sorry. Not like us gamers, we're thick skinned. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh dolphins have very thin smooth skin this delicate epidermis can be injured easily but can be slut slew slewed slowed slewed away and regenerated with a new layer of skin as often as once every two hours sloughed away that pronunciation is gonna haunt me I swear uh, this enables them to heal very quickly. That's very interesting. There's four more achievements. Soul searching. It's going to be all the way up here in Mars. It takes Mars 387. That was a brain fart like freaking crazy. Ignore everything I just said. It takes Mars 687 Earth days to complete its orbit of the Sun. A day or Sol on Mars takes 24 hours, 37 minutes and 22 seconds to complete. So just a little longer than here, it's not that bad. The tallest mountain in the solar system is the Olympus Mons found on the surface of Mars. It's 21 kilometers tall and has a diameter of 600 kilometers. So the incline is so flat you won't even notice really that you're climbing a mountain. A bubles of death. The pressure on Mars is so low if a human was to venture out on its surface without a spacesuit, the oxygen in their blood would turn into bubbles and kill them. Killed by bubles. That is not good. A drink at the Mars bar. I thought Mars bar was a candy bar. Never mind. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. These moons are thought to be asteroids that became caught in Mars's orbit. As opposed to Earth's moon, which was originally a piece of the planet that broke off after an impact. Or so we think. Oh, then again, you could. Not sure how you would test for that, you know? It's a lot of upgrades we can do. Uh, no, by 10, always. Okay, there's not so many upgrades we can do. Everything is 34, except the top two, so. There we go. And over here, every. 33 and everything is 32 meaning it won't be as easy to upgrade 
Are we gonna run out of space again? Why is this one so low? Car cartilaginous, get cartilaginous, like cartilage, cartilaginous skeleton. Some aquatic mammal animals, such as sharks and rays, have skeletons made of cartilage instead of bone. This means that they are more durable, flexible, and buoyant. Yeah, cartilage, like we have. Replaceable teeth. Sharks have teeth that grow in many rows at a time and are replaced whenever one breaks or falls out. Some sharks lose 30,000 teeth or more in their lifetime. That's a pretty scary thought if you think about it. Leopard shark. Wait, can we unlock that? Do we have enough? Leopard shark. Where is it? I want to unlock it. Come on. Or is it already unlocked? I don't know. Leopard sharks are so named because of their distinctive pattern of spots and stripes. They live in coastal regions and pose no threat to humans who often hunt them for their meat. Well, but then again, we hunt basically everything. Loose skin. What's this? That's over here. Honey badgers have thick, loose skin. This tough and flexible pelt allows pelt allows them to withstand bites and claws from other animals, and to easily twist and squirm their way out of traps or away from predators. And the only thing that will be able to trap them is basically us. Okay, so 32 honey badgers. The honey badger. I thought there's fur was more on the darker side. I guess I'm wrong. But either way, honey badger. Honey badgers are common mammals found in Africa. See, in that photo, it's a darker shade. Africa, Southwest Asia, and the Indian subcontinent. They are known for their ferocious fighting nature and long, flexible bodies. Th they hunt down snakes, what do you mean? Ferocious, they're freaking fearless. Underwater communication. Cetaceans communicate with each other underwater. Whales produce songs that can be heard for thousands of miles. While dolphins click and use echolocation. This enables them to form social structures called pods, providing safety in numbers and letting them hunt in groups. I know one animal species that should be safety in numbers, and that is called the killer whale, because those things are jerks. Atmospheric alteration. Going back up. There are certain elements that will need to be added to the atmosphere to make it breathable. If we are able to harness those, we are one step closer to a true atmosphere like that of Earth. Mars has been terraformed. Humanity is now a multi-planetary civilization. Well, I'll be damned. Mars is now rich and lush with lush with a breathable atmosphere, running water and comfortable climate. We have transformed the red planet into another little blue dot, a twin of planet Earth. Wait, wait, do they <gasps> it does look different. Oh my word, and it's still a little bit barren on the backside. Don't worry, we'll not look at your bold spot. We'll look at the water and the green. What's this? Time is born as matter turns into energy and the beyond moves into focus. Wait, the beyond? What is that? I wanna see the beyond. Is that a feature or not yet? No! No, it's so close. It's tantali it's tantalizingly close. It's it's so pa it's patronizingly close. Why? Sesamo sesamoid thumb. Uh, let's do this. 
The giant panda has five fingers and a thumb, which is actually a bone attached to a tendon in their paw. This gives them some grasping ability which seems to have evolved specifically so the panda could hold bamboo shoots for more effective snacking. Okay then. I wanna unlock the panda. Allow me this, please. I need a lot more entropy, dang it. Also a lot more roots I haven't taken yet. Like here. It's cause all these darn upgrades are so darn expensive. Dang it. It's just too expensive to upgrade everything right now. Oh, got an achievement. Terraform Mars complete. You have successfully terraformed Mars. Humanity now has a second home. Mars will act as a base for future space exploration. Yeah, more space means we'll just breed more and expand more. Urban development. Mars only has about 38% of Earth's gravity. A 150 pound person would weigh only 57 pounds on the surface of Mars. I guess more bodybuilders would not want to go to Mars. Um, people who want to lose weight or think they have lost weight would want to go to Mars. I can't fix this glitch. No. Okay, we haven't done a lot right now. So I think let's go to the Mesozoic Valley. I think we're overdue for an asteroid hit. Yes, we are. Collect. Thank you. Oh, we have an achievement though. Blood Brothers. Despite their shared ancestry, pterosaurs are not dinosaurs but a variety of archosaur. That is interesting. Thank you. Oh, we can upgrade here. Wait, rank up. Rare. Upgrade fossil tap. A mono? A mono? A mo? A mo? Ammonoidia. Ammonites are extinct mollusks that were abundant from the Devonian through the Cretaceous period. They provide an important function as index fossils, helping to define and identify different geologic periods. Ammonoidia. I think that's how you pronounce it. I am not sure at all. Not a lot we can do, so let's head on and uh, time for extinction. Enter in the comments. What do you think the number will be this time? Can't really give you anything if you right, but self-satisfaction. Nine hundred and seventy creatures are no more. See, and I also simplify it for everyone watching this, because I do everything in tens. Thank you. No, I have to restart everything. Dang it. Okay, so I'll get back to where I was, which I think 10 different dinosaurs and archaeosaurs. Not sure. But I'll be right back. Well, I got us back to where we were. And it I don't see any new unlockables. But I did come across this. Upgrades all Jurassic Age dinosaurs. Discount. <laughs> The Triassic, uh, 251.9 MYA, 201.3 MYA, 
was the first period of the Mesozoic era, while the first half of this period was devastated by the Permian-Triassic extinction event, the second half is marked by increased diversity and the first appearances of dinosaurs. Well, that's interesting. But... That doesn't quite help me, because... I don't see any new dinosaurs or um, species here. We ended on this uh, sauropoda last time. It's not new. Like, I thought we... I thought... We're on the 11th age and we only have nine different species here. Okay, I'm gonna see if I upgrade them a bit. Which is gonna take quite a while with the current speed, but I'm gonna see if I upgrade them for a bit if a new one unlocks. Otherwise, it's most like most like most likely with another extinction event. So I'll be right back. Okay, we might not be where I wanted to be, but I did unlock something new. We now have rapid tooth replacement of the sor uh, sauropoda upgrade. And now it's automated. Yes. So what do they have to say? With huge appetites to fill their massive sizes, sauropoda's broad, blunt teeth would be lost and regrow quickly to compensate for wear and tear. Well, that was interesting still has not unlocked any new dinosaurs or archosaurs or whatever we want I'm starting to feel like we do actually need another extinction extinction event before we actually end up with a new species which is kind of a pain because that means I, I can't show it to you now unless I really like do all this over again and I don't mean I'll have to be busy for quite a while and have to cut out quite a lot but it's also it's not like there's anything in the prime I can unlock Oh, I hate being stuck like this. Is there anything here we can unlock that will help us? Yes, let's view it. We're not gonna restart now. We can buy more nanobots. We can buy the turbo hold. The antimatter hard drive. The mixed matter fluctuator, the dimensional alternator, the propag propagation capacitor, elementary particle probability, terabyte capacitor, more flux capacity. We could actually restart again get a few more upgrades and hopefully that will nothing new here oh wait there is the terraform mars huh we could end the main simulation and try and start that again as we are kind of stuck And sound is off, sorry. So I think... You know what? Let's end the simulation and restart again. See what we can do. Yes. Please 
didn't make me have to restart the music again. Okay, before we get more nanobots, let's get... What's the nanowire? I first need 12 nanobots. Dang it. And nanobots will buy items on the tree, build a new universe quickly and easily. <gasps> I really want that. 65 to 60. And now it's too expensive. Dang it. Turbo hold. Increase tap and hold buying speed on the tech tree. Yeah, let's do that. More flux capacity. Increase max time flux time by one hour. Terabyte capacitor. Increase max boost time by eight hours. Petabyte capacitor. I mean, we'll look into that when we have. We'll see after we do all the six. Antimatter drive. Background idle capacity 5% more efficient. Uh, where's another E6? Mixed matter flux fluctuator. Simulation speed 125% more efficient. Yes. Dimensional alternator. Entropy tap gains plus 1% of your idle entropy per second. Yes. Elementary particle probability. Idea tap gains 2% of your idle idea per second. Yes. Deep thought I. Propagation capacitor. Entropy tap gains 1% of your idle entropy. There we go. Okay, now we're stuck with the difficult decision. Another nanobot. That's too expensive. We can afford the petabyte capacitor. No, we cannot. What can we afford? We can afford the space-time conversion or the deep thought AI. Idea tap gains 2% or simulation speed 124. Let's do the space conversion. Yes, space-time conversion. And now we start our third simulation. Yes. Let's start this right up. And we have planet Earth. If any they could buy for me. Nine, ten. And everything is flowing. Okay, this is going to get loud, trust me. Brick wall is approaching. Oh, we hit the singularity. Wait, they time us after the reset? That ain't good. We're at 17, so bring everything up to 16, I believe. Oh, everything's already at 16. 16 per second, so we can bring it up to 17. That was an accidental pick, but... With how everything is going, I might actually fly past something. I'm not sure. Not climbing fast enough. Dang it. I don't want to hit that brick wall. Not right now. Hit the 30s. Go from top to bottom as that will increase speed more. No. This shouldn't be now. <laughs> Curse these speed limits. Ah, we hit a wall. Dang it. 
Now I want to bring it up to 18. Hey, everything's up to 18 now. But this is not 17 per sec. Dang it. This is, la is beyond what it's supposed to be. Because I'm working with 30 even though it's 29 per second. Like I could just do the thing where I use the auto kicker now. Maybe I should do that. As that will... Um, I'm getting a lot more, but then I have to cut again and hopefully get to where we were. But it's not to say that I will be able to get to where we were, and that means this video would have to be late again. You know what? We've done a lot in this episode. And I will have to get back to where we were, so if you want to see that, you know, leave a like on the video. Also, if you enjoyed the video, if you're not part of the Apple Squad, squad already, why not? It's an awesome squad to be a part of. All you need to do is subscribe. And if you want to, own it, it, so, oh, I can't talk right now. And if you want to hang out with the rest of us, all you need to do is join the Discord. We'll have fun there. And I'll see everyone next time.